Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your girl, CC Love. I am back with another podcast. I hope that everybody has had a very blessed day. I thank the Lord for another opportunity, another chance, another another um, chance to just get it right, you know. I'm very grateful for everything that I have, everything that I have lost. Um, I'm just grateful for life. Um, I just want to thank everybody who is a returning listener and a returning viewer to any content that I have on my channel. I appreciate you for your love and support. A like and share is always appreciated. Please believe me. Um, today's topic is Desperate Housewife. Ooh, what I'm talking about? The TV show? No, that's not the case. But I'm definitely ready to dive into it. Cutie music. All righty. So, like I said, I hope that y'all done had a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, 4th of July. You know, that's really not my cup of tea. I stopped celebrating 4th of July a few years ago simply because it is not to be celebrated especially for people of you know of color but that's a whole nother topic we are gonna dive into that at a later date so let's see desperate housewives so somebody asked me they said girl what you mean by desperate housewives what you talking about i know you're not talking about the show that's totally not the direction I want to go in, but let's just dive right on into it. Um, I just want to just make sure that I make it clear that I am not intentionally stepping on any toes. I am not intentionally trying to belittle anyone. I'm not intentionally trying to um, <laughs> make anybody feel the type of way. I'm simply being honest, sharing my take of how I view things and just my perspective on, you know, what I agree or what I disagree with. Um, that's for housewives. Um, I'm, that's referring to um, baby moms, um, just bitter women who you know, choose to settle for whatever they want to settle for just to make them feel um, important. Um, For instance, women that belittle themselves just for attention from a man, okay? That's the whole con, that's the whole topic. That's what this is about. Um, I know a lot of women who actually will belittle themselves and break their neck and do jump through hurdles and hoops just to get a smile or just to get a look or a compliment from a man. Um, I'm not the only one. I know that there are several people who are listening who have family members or members in their family. Um, It could be your mom, a cousin, an auntie, even you. Are you one of the type of women that are desperate for attention and just willing to neglect everything just to make sure a man is satisfied? Honestly, I feel like if a man is is uh, comfortable with you um, not being your full self or not glowing and living in your truth, and he's comfortable with you, you know, being stuck, that's not a man. And I'm, I'm going to get into that. What I mean uh, regarding a desperate housewife, I mean a woman who just goes above and beyond just to be considered called, be, just to be considered a bae, just to be considered a baby mama, just for you to, to hear, you know, for you to feel some type of satisf- satisfaction from a man saying, yeah, that's my wife. I'm going to marry her. That's my baby right there. She done stuck it out with me thick and thin. Do you know how much a man and women too, okay? I'm not just talking about men. Women too. People will lie, okay? Just for you to feel 
as if you you mean the world to them when really they don't give a damn about you or they want you to feel as if you are important so that you won't have to be down their neck when they do fuck up and do something wrong and they got a little leeway because they gonna get it from you as long as they egg you on being being your cheerleader so when they do do something wrong you ain't got really much to bitch about let's talk about it okay this is for men or women who are scared to be alone wanting just wanting and needing the touch or the attention from a man it don't matter if he go upside your head or not it don't matter if he can't help you pay no bill or not it don't matter if he's dealing with his mammy or not it don't matter if he can't keep a job or not there are some women who are willing to accept those type of men just so that they can have the title of being everything to that man or that housewife a lot of people want to be a lot of women want to be wifey material what is wifey material to a lot of men wifey material is a bad beautiful woman fine woman know how to cook know how to clean take care of herself take care of him cater to him keep the house in contact intact ain't got a want for nothing stay at home won't cheat on him won't do him wrong <laughs> got our head on straight got our stuff together that's what we that's what most men or most decent men or men with common sense was consider um a housewife to be <laughs> right um some women you know especially you know a baby mama specifically they if you are a a a, a mom who has you know more than one child or even if you just have one child and you have, you know, some type of relationship or you can't let go of your child's father, even though you're not together and you just feel like you just always have to have a part in their life or you just, you know, just extremely important where you feel like you have to run off their other baby mamas or run off any other woman that they deal with if it's not pertaining to you. You just feel like you have have to just be a part of chaos or become very toxic because you want to be that go-to person. You want to be the ride or die chick. You want to be that that baby mama who who he gonna always come back to. Why? You want you you want to be labeled as the wife so bad. You got women that will disregard the needs of their children just so a man can feel comfortable and feel like he the man of the house. And then when he say go. For example, you can have a man who go slave out there at work. Come 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 payday. You got to argue with him to for him to pay a bill. He get mad at you because you asked him for bill money. Then he complained about how much bill is about these these kids need to need to start cutting stuff off and these kids this these kids bad these kids this these kids that. Then he be hollering he love you while y'all in the bed and he love you on good days, but when reality kick in he don't want nothing to do with you because he don't want to man up. But you don't care as long as he coming home to you. As long as you you see fit and what he doing, you comfortable with him. You're comfortable with your situation because you are the housewife. You are the desperate housewife. You're desperate for some type of fake reality that's suitable to you. Neglecting the kids for a man. Giving the kid, give, giving the kids a little bit of food while you make sure that man plate overflowing. 
telling the kids they limited to this and that and the refrigerator can't go in the kitchen. Y'all stay over here when 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 John come home from work. Y'all don't go. Y'all don't go run up to the door. Don't go ask him no questions. Leave him alone. I don't want y'all in here. I don't want y'all in the living room. Y'all need to go play. Y'all need to go find yourself to do. Okay, yeah, he may be tired coming home from work. But damn, do he do the man interact with the kids? Do he love the kids? Do he try to say hey to them? Try to see how they how they day don't went? Are they not as in, as important to him as you are to him? Is he is are the children less important than the mama? Do they not matter? A lot of women go above and beyond just to cater to a man. Yeah, they've been work, working all day. They want something to eat. You fix their plate, bring them their food. You know, wash their clothes, go on, throw them in a the washer. They have the time. The men don't even acknowledge you when they walk in the door. Mind you, that's that's your that's your that's your house, that's your apartment. They got your lease, your your name on that lease. You and your children. That name ain't nowhere attached. And even if it is, who paying all damn bills up in there? And even if he is. What type of relationship do y'all really have? Do he love you? Do he really want to be there? It's men that will come home to a woman every day with a child or children and can't even stand her kids. Don't even like them. But they just deal with them just so they can have a place to stay. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. (laughs) How many of y'all can relate? It is a lot of women that will cater to that man to the best of their ability, but don't even know how to be a mama. Don't even sit there and, and talk to their children, take the time to take their kids to the park, do schoolwork with them, to get the kids in the kitchen and, and show them how to flip a pancake, how to make a hamburger, how to season some chicken and clean some chicken. Hmm. None of that. And we're not even going to get on the top of supporting bad habits of what? Your man want to sit there and smoke weed. He can roll up weed, rolling up weed in front of the kids. Smoking in the house. Loud talking, cussing all in front of the kids. It's okay. You know, we're going to throw a little cuss word out there here and there. Certain things should not be done in front of kids. That's just it. That's just that's just the point. Certain things should not be done in front of these kids. Because then when they get to doing it, then you're gonna be mad and embarrassed. What you would you why you say that? Where you get that from? What you mean where I get it from? That's all I see, that's all I hear. I got it from y'all, mama. Then you mad and want to jump on your child because of because of what you allow from your mate, from your man. So they feel like, oh, well, mama allow him to do this. Mama, not, I can do it too. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Ain't no way. I don't care how hard you don't work. Find you a designated area to go smoke your stuff and, and, and have your relaxed time. Go in the room. But when you walk in this door, you need to acknowledge everybody in the house. And everybody also need to acknowledge you as well, especially children. I do have a, a belief that I feel like children should speak, should speak when they see somebody, when they see an adult, and when they walk into somebody's house, when they walk into an adult house, children need to speak first. Children need to speak. There's no question about it. Should no adult break their neck to speak to a child? A child need to acknowledge the, the lady or the man of the house and speak to Everyone in the room. That's just the way that it goes. We also need to start accepting the fact that a lot of kids don't like and are not comfortable with their mamas, boyfriends, or husbands, or whoever they are to them. Because children can pick up on spirits. Children can watch and see how their parent, how their mama is with this man and see how her vibe is and how her mood is. 
and that can affect a child. Don't know a child want to sit there and watch no man that tell you what to do and demand you and run you like you a slave and talk to you like you're stupid. They don't. That's accepting abuse just to be called and labeled a housewife. You be ready to get on the phone and argue and fuss and fight with the next woman. So my, that's my man. That's why he come home to me. He pay all my bills. I get that dick every night. You happy? You bragging about that on the phone with somebody that you shouldn't even be arguing with over a man that's supposed to be yours? Idiot. Child, let's talk about it. You willing to neglect yourself just so you can have, you will no ma'am. You willing to accept abuse. Cause when he get mad at you, that's where he gonna go. To the next bed, to the other bed mom house, to his other little girlfriend house, to his best friend house. To his people, so called cousin house. But this the man you want to be my husband, my bae. We've been together for such, such years. Out of all them years you've been with this person, how that's been? Man, nobody gonna have no top, you know, no, you know, perfect <laughs> relationship. But I'd be damned if I see him stick out with you 20, 30 years. It ain't nothing but a damn a, a roller coaster where it's more toxic. It's like a 60-40 situation. I done cried and, 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 and about pulled my hair out more than I could smile and, and say I love you. Come on now. We had to stop being comfortable with the minimal. We have to stop being comfortable with the minimal and start acknowledging that we deserve peace and happiness. And we have to start setting realistic boundaries. Because if not, what what you fighting for? Nobody should be willing to accept verbal abuse, physical abuse. None of that. Just to be called a housewife, just to feel accepted, just to feel loved. Y'all ain't supposed to go like that. If you got to knock me up side of my head just for just for you to feel good and just so I can you know is if that satisfy you just so I can make sure you lay in the bed at night and I can still be your wife in the morning baby you can let me a damn dummy I wish I would but then again you got some women that don't really know any better it's some women that don't know no better and that's all they know that's all they around that's all they grew up is watching and that's what they were introduced to. Or maybe not. Maybe they were around women that that had, you know, had strong backbones and, and, and strong mindsets and, and didn't take nothing from no man and, and they ran a household. I'm all about a woman running the household. You dang on right. But it better be a strong man behind it now. Because if I gotta run the household by myself, I don't need you. Come on, somebody. It is a lot of people, a lot of women who don't know no better. And they don't really know what to do when they get a man. Long as they got somebody they can look at, long as they getting piped down or getting licked on, they can be the sorriest piece of no good man ever. And be sick and tired of them here and there. But long as they got somebody to lay with, they good. They don't care. Child, please. All the toxic traits they willing to accept just to be called somebody's bae, somebody's house, somebody's wife. Yeah, and, and people be bragging. Women are brag. Yeah, I keep my man. I could, my man eat good. He come home to a clean house. Everything he got the house, he don't got to go nowhere. While he out in the street ain't even claiming you. But you want to be the perfect housewife. Some women just stuck on stupid. And they ain't going to ever change. They accept. They want to have a low life mentality. Because that's what I call it. 
they want to have a low life. They're comfortable with that type of that train of thought. They just stuck. Stuck on their fairy tale lifestyles. And you can have the smartest friends or friends with a little bit of decency or common sense that'll be in the background. I'm like, girl, child, I don't see how you put up with that. And you good. Couldn't be me. Then they want to get mad at their friends for keeping it real with them and try to put them on guy. My point is, women have to start being realistic in 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 their in in seeking happiness okay and that goes and, and another thing off topic stop wanting somebody to have this and the third when you ain't even got it you want somebody that got a, a six-figure income and in and, and, and a owner ceo of a company and you on section eight and you got five kids and Three of your adult kids that's 18 and older still staying at home with you. And they they think it's a part. They got your house into a party house. And they don't want to fend for themselves. And you want to shelter them. And you don't want to let them go and be out in the world and be adults. But you expect that man to be at home and be a man of the house when you got uh, your grown-ass kids in the house trying to run the house. And you ain't leaving room for that man to be a man. Because you got these kids in here think they run the show. Yeah, they're running your man away from you. That's what they're doing. Man, this topic can go so many ways. Um, I appreciate everyone for listening. Ladies, we got to do better. Men, we got to do better. Stop being Debbie daddies. Stop, stop, you know, always want to go stick your, 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 your stick your stick somewhere when you ain't satisfied at the house. That's where com- t- talking and communication come into play. And I can understand if you got somebody at home that sometimes can't comprehend the elevator don't go all the way to the top. <laughs> Child, let's talk about it. But at least try. Same for y'all women. It's okay to make a man wash clothes sometimes. It's okay to make him cook for you and bring your plate sometimes. It's all right for them to switch roles sometimes. It is what it is. I appreciate everybody who listened tonight. I appreciate you more than you know. Make sure that y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that is the topic of today, Podcast 6, Desperate Housewives. Please make sure you leave your comments below and stay sweet.